What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and holy moly we have got a brand new event in Dream Team. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. We have got a new event called Testing My Limit, right? It sounds like something out of Mortal Kombat, man. But it's a ranking event, it's a weekend event and there are good prizes. Well, listen, depending on where you are with the game, these are either really good prizes or they're something that you're just not going to want the sweat of playing, right? So this is accessible from the main banner here or within Dream Team events. It's not part of eFootball League, but I reckon these will mix and match with the next big update that you will probably like be in a division and with your top of your division, maybe the top 50 players in your division, whether it's division 5, 4, 3 or whatever, you will go on to an actual ranking event where there'll be good rewards. But again, that's just me kind of putting things out there, hoping that that will happen because these events should be there from day dot, man. Listen, if people have time to play on the weekend, brilliant. You know, it gives you something to actually organize on the weekend and say, listen, I'm not going to have time to jump on Monday to Friday. I'm busy with work or school or college or whatever it is um, or with the kids. But on the weekend, I can carve out, you know, two hours on a Saturday morning, two hours on a Sunday evening, and I can play four or five hours. I can get maybe in, you know, 10 matches in and test my limit here where I don't need to commit to like getting up promotion, getting a division in eFootball League or anything like that. So this testing my limit, lads, these are the rewards. These are um, what you get for just joining. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna give you a couple of things, right, that... A few people have asked me, right? So you will see here that we actually can't matchmake here at the moment because there is a matchmaking restriction of every five minutes it re re rotates. So you've got five minutes to matchmake and there's a five minute cooling off period. So I've had people come in here and just by like chance, they haven't been able to go to match and they're like, oh, I can't play. Like it's blocked out for me. So you just have to wait until the matchmaking says that it starts. So you can see here two and a half minutes. So we'll actually do this in real time as we cover the rest of the information in this video. There's two minutes left in this, two minutes, 23, 22 seconds. Um, we'll cover whatever things el else is in. And then you will see that this two match will go from being grayed out and inaccessible to being, you know, lit up and accessible that we're able to click on it and actually match make, right? So these are the rewards for it. It's basically going to be like a ranking. You play 15 matches, your best 15 results, your last 15 matches played are counted and starting with the rank and rewards, right? So rank one is going to get half a million GP and six skill trainers. Two to 10 are going to get 300,000 GP and four skill trainers and yada, yada, yada. So even players that have like, say, just participate, right? If you go in, you play one match and you lose 20 nil, okay? You will still get 10,000 GP and you will also get 25,000 GP just for taking part. Doesn't matter your rank if you're the worst rank player in it, right? Anyone between 100,000 and 500,000 is going to get the participation award of 10 grand and the 50,000 as well, okay? So this area list here as well is going to be all about the different regions. You don't really need to worry too much about that. It's just showing you the different regions that is in there. And as you can see, it is just um, the different regions that are covered in the league, right? I'm not too sure if you guys can see that, but it's all the countries that it covers per region of who you're going to be matchmaking with, right? Within this. Now, I will also say as well, right? The biggest problem with something like this, lads, in my opinion, is going to be um, keeping the cheating to a minimum, right? Because there are people that are going to, let's just say, there are people that are going to spoof their results, right? Say, for example, oh, excuse me. Say, for example, I match make with somebody um, and I'm able to get into a game with somebody and then I score 20 goals against them. And then the next match I match make with them and they, they score 20 goals against me or whatever before I start my ranking. Um, you know, that's going to be the big thing because simple maths, lads, without casting any uh, aspersions on anybody or any accusations on anybody, I mean... I think scoring 10 goals a game is a lot. You know what I mean? If you're playing 15, 15 games and you have people with 200 goals scored, I mean, it looks pretty decent here um, from this, from the rank one all the way down. You've got a lot of different players playing it. You've got a lot of different results. You've got a lot of different people. That, you know, some people have played 10 and won 10. Some people have played um, 15 and lost or drew three or whatever. And they're still in the top 50 of the rankings. So I do think that if they can keep this fair, it could be a massive addition every weekend. And now as we're back here, you will see that this flashes up. We can go into matchmaking and we can get on with the game, right? So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. If you would like to see it be a permanent fixture, as I said, anything like this, right? Competitions on the weekend, you know, connection and, you know, keeping um, it as fair as possible as a competition for anybody. I think this is a brilliant thing because number one, right? If you want to improve at the game, 
the only way you're going to improve at the game, right, leaving the connection aside and the servers and all that, the only way you're going to improve at the game is playing against guys that not necessarily are in your division, but guys that are playing kind of um, going for the same rewards as you because it's going to be sweaty, people are going to be tryhards, and that's how you kind of improve at the game mechanically of how the game works, what animations work, and I think that there does need to be something, whether this is the answer or not, there does need to be something for people that are just consistently getting into Division 1, consistently have an 80-90 win ratio, um, and then basically just, like, you know, steamrolling everybody. There needs to be that upper echelon that people can strive to. So if you're a Division 3, Division 2 player, and you get into Division 1, your result or your reward for that is to basically be playing 90% of people that could be playing the game 40 or 50 hours a week. So mechanically, they know exactly how to play the game, it's very animation driven a lot of time at Division 1 because everything's so centralized. But we will do a couple of videos on that. For now, just let me know what you think on this. It's just a quick video testing my limit. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know your top ranking as well if you've played in this, what the matches have been like. Get below into the comments. And I will see you in testing my limit because we're going to be probably playing a little bit later on. If not today, we'll be playing it maybe over the weekend. So let me know what your thoughts are. We'll do a sneaky weekend stream. Until then... Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll be back later.